different uh, sites with the help of Python. And it supports various uh, uh, languages like Markdown, Restructured Text, HTML, and whatnot. So let's create a folder pelican and uh, enter this folder create a virtual environment and after the virtual environment is ready we are going to install the <coughs> necessary packages and this is going to be part of a github repository and it will be linked in the video description so you can easily reproduce uh, the examples that you see so yeah and uh, after the virtual environment is ready we can activate it and pip install pelican so once the dependencies are installed first what we would like to do is to create uh, 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 directory called one and inside this directory we use the pelican quick start exe this is going to be an interactive quick start so this is where we would like to do it this is going to be a hello world site this is me who is going to be the editor daniel sabo it will be English, we don't have a speci special prefix for the URLs and I don't think, oh, let's enable pagination, 10 articles are good, we are in Europrome and <coughs> yes, no, 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 no. So basically, Pelican allows you to upload our site via various uh, processes like FTP, SSH, Dropbox, and whatnot. And if we open up the code editor here, <coughs> you will see the following structure. So we have a make file and we have a pelican conf.py this is basic configuration for the project this is the publish.conf this is where you uh, would use uh, configure use for configuration if you use the make publish command and here you can define tasks so when you make clean make build make rebuild regenerate and so on and inside the content folder we would use the hello world.rst and here what we would like to do is to create an article and uh, what we could do in a restructured text is to create a title so hello world cover it below with hashtags and then we could specify a date so 2022-02-14 so this is Valentine's Day video and we could create tags so let's do this hello world and authors Daniel and we could specify a summary and uh, these uh, tags or extension tags are defined uh, in the documentation which will be linked down below so this is a summary and here we could specify the content so this is a demonstration for the first video let's save it and now we can specify or issue the con uh, command pelican content and as you can see it has processed one article and we can use the pelican listen and follow this url and in your browser you should see the first 
uh, article published and uh, <clears throat> you could add by default some links you could add social accounts like github twitter whatnot and um, this is basically what we just did let's create uh, another content so second that rst another and let's just repurpose these so the, the same date second and second article this is another blog post let's save it and to regenerate the static assets we would use the pelican content and if we go back to our browser after the pelican listen is issued and refresh the page you see that we have the other published and other articles are the hello world which was previously published so that was what i wanted to show you in this introduction video see you in the next one